earnest praying, believers should encircle the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to 40 Days of Prayer. My name is Kenji, and I'm joining from Tokyo. We welcome people from our own world, Australia, Brazil, and United States, and so on. During this hour, we'll have a short time of worship, followed by a message from the Word of God, presented by uh, Pastor Don McLafferty. If you wanted to, you could join. Uh, you could turn your cameras on. Also, have your Bibles ready because Pastor Don will invite us to read from the Scripture today. Let us make a short prayer. Dear Father in heaven. Thank you for this opportunity to be united in prayer. Lead us as we do this service in your name. We thank it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before Pastor Don will share us, uh, let us have a time of worship. I want uh, Sister Nozomi to take us through a time of thanksgiving. Now, I invite Sister Nozomi to lead us into this Thanksgiving. Thank you, Sister Nozomi. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Genji. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hi, um, sisters and brothers. My name is Nozomi, joining from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, isn't Lord good to us? When we come to him with our thanksgiving, we express our gratitude for what he has done for us. The Bible verse says, sorry, give me some time. Uh, Sorry, can you can somebody able to read for me? It's on the screen. Does that make sense? It's on okay. the screen. Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> ah, okay. So I read it for you. Thank you. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men which be, we must be saved. Acts four verse twelve. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Benji. Today, I want to say thank you to the Lord because he always give us a best, uh, he already gave us the best gift, Jesus, to take, save us from this sin world. Amen. I will, what about you? I invite you to share in the chat in the just few short words what you are grateful to the Lord for. I am very sorry that I have this problem. I'm not able to read from the chat. I'll check it for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for saving grace. He's saving grace. Thanks for sending guardian angel for the peace, for the sunshine. Yes for his amazing grace, protection, unchanging love, his leading, mercy in new every morning, provisions for basic needs, for the strength. Oh, there's so, ma so much message here, life, my family, everything for his love. He's interested in us to save us, for his merciful blessings, providence. Yes, brothers and sisters, so many things to thank God for good health, his mercy, abundant grace, friend in prayer, for the power to hate the sin, for faith, his guidance and faithfulness and the healing power and global families that he's providing us. That's all, Nozomi-san. 
so much, Thank you very so many much. things, forgiveness, Bible, salvation, so on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all your comments. I would like to have the short prayer. Dear Lord in heaven, I thank you because, Father, you know my needs more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And you show us what you really need. Show us what you really need through trials from time to time. Thank you for nurturing our faith. Guide us always and show us your unchanging love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Back to you. Um, thank Brother you, Nozomi-san. Thank, thank you so much. And now I'd like to invite Sister Hannah to lead us into praise time. Thank you, uh, Hannah-san. Thank you, Brother Genji. My name is Hannah, and I am um, joining us from Newcastle, Australia. Uh, brothers and sisters, this is a time when we come together to praise the Lord for who he is. We have thanked him for what he has done for us, and now we praise him for his character. The Bible says this, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. We are created by him fearfully and wonderfully. And we are his creation. We want to give all the praise to God as our creator. For the next three minutes, we will be separated into breakout room where I invite you to share your praise. The host will separate us shortly, but before um, he separate, we can, if you would like to, you can um, put your praise uh, in your chat as well. Um, yeah, let's praise God for who he is. I can see um, praising God about his strengths and sustainer. Jesus Christ is my strength. Mm. We will be separated into the breakout room in shortly. Hello. Hello. What a great privilege to praise our God with all of you from all over the globe and allow me to begin by saying that i praise god because he is a miracle working god and nothing is impossible with him now i'd like to invite you all each and every one to unmute and share with us all your praises to god you all may also use your own language feel free i praise the Lord for waking me up this morning, for he is the one who gives you Chihiro. I come is among a hey and could I saw a koto, a pasha each day, some fish tied on my mass. His peace, amen. amen. He gives us. Peace that surpasses Amen. all understanding. Amen. Um, how about Sister Cheryl from the US? Can Praise you... God. I am awed by God's love that's never ending, never changing. I praise him because it says God is love. Amen. Big amen to this. Um, 神様は愛の方であり、本当に大きな愛を私たちをいつも包んでくださいます。Um, how about you, um, Rupa? Sister Rupa? Can... Yeah. Yeah, I just want to praise God for his uh, choosing that we are I'm unworthy, but God is so great that he has chosen, chosen us as mm. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, Takahashi san, do de shou ka? 私たちにこの祈りを与えてくださいました。神様に近づくことができることを本当に賛美いたします。アーメン。アーメン。アーメン。We can come to God through prayer.God、uh, given us this wonderful privilege to pray to God.How、um, about you, Minato?Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen.Amen
。みなとくん、何か神様のことを伝えたいことある。なんて言うの。<笑><笑>天の神様。<笑>何でもいい神様ありがとうって。天の神様、うん、<笑>すぐ出てこないかな。考えた。All right, I think we are almost back to the main room. So let's、um, yeah, have a short prayer for the praise. Heavenly Father,、um, Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful time to praise you, who you are. Father, we want to praise you with all our heart, and we cannot praise you enough. Thank you, Lord, that you are our creator and you are our redeemer. Pray these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you,、uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hana. Now I'd like to invite uh, Sister uh, Jane to lead us into confession. Thank you, Jane.、Okay. The time is yours. Okay. Well, thank you, Brother、uh, Genji. Uh, my name is Jane, and I'm joining you from Hokkaido, Japan.、Um, after a time of thanksgiving and praise、uh, to a God,、uh, we can see just how much of a sinner、uh, we all are. But as sinners, we also understand our need of a Savior. And the Bible says、uh, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much.、Uh, James 5 16. I know that my righteousness is like filthy rags, and I need the Lord to forgive me and to cleanse me. I invite you now to take some time、uh, to confess silently. And、um, uh, at the end of、uh, about a minute,、uh, then I will have a short prayer. So, please,、uh, wherever you are,、um, take this time to bow your heads and、uh, confess your sins before the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this time of、uh, confession. We thank you that、um, we have been able to lay our hearts open to you. And we want to claim your promise in 1 John 1 9 that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us from all unrighteousness and to cleanse us. Uh, thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jane.、Uh, now it's time for us to have Pastor Dunn's message. Before we invite him, I would like to introduce Pastor Dunn for the sake of the people who is joining us first time, maybe today. Don is the disciple of Jesus Christ, a husband to his bride,、uh, April, for 34 years, a dad to their three,、uh, three children, a pastor for over 25 years, and 
the founder and president of In Discipleship Ministry. In 2002, God moved the hearts of Don and April to launch Kids in Discipleship, a ministry to call parents back to disciple, to discipling their own kids to Christ and to find their God-given dream in serving others. Today, this ministry is named In Discipleship and is committed to building champions who mentor the new generation to trust, follow, and share Jesus with Holy Spirit power. On November 22, 2016, God called Don and April to champion intergenerational revival and discipling of the new generations as full-time volunteers free to serve wherever God calls them. Their supportive ministry partners with every level of Seventh-day Adventist Church, as well as other churches, schools, and governments around the world. This is his profile. So, Don, time is yours. Bless us through God's message. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. And it's good to see all of you. Good evening to you from the sunny fields and forest of Tennessee on this beautiful afternoon. We finally have sunshine again here in Tennessee. We've had lots of rain the last little bit. My friends, if this is your first time, know that this will be presented always with an activity that we can use to help us pass on the good news of how to live by the Spirit of God through an activity to get children thinking, teenagers thinking, young adults, older adults thinking. So grab a sheet of paper real quick, and I invite you to draw something that shows, now here, listen close, draw a picture, a quick picture of a time when people really showed you care, like they really took care of you. And see if we can guess what the situation was. Sometime when you really felt like you were being cared for by others. Okay, I'm going to give you just a few moments. And then I'm going to ask the host to join me in, in calling on you. We'll look together and see who has a picture to show us. Draw a picture of a time when, when people made you feel very cared for. Thank you for those of you who have your video on. It's fun to be able to see your faces. I'm looking right now. I'm ready to see. Okay, and let's ask the technical team. Can you highlight a Jane's picture there so we can go full screen? Can we do that? And let's see this picture here. A time when she felt cared about Jane. Tell us just in one or two sentences, what was that time? Okay, well, our house uh, burned uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, our old house, our first house uh, caught yes. on fire. Um, and the night before, I had a dream about a fire. And oh. it, was, uh, it was Saturday night that the fire occurred. Sabbath morning, my husband and I talked about what if we have a fire? And in the, how can we ex escape our house? Because we were living on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how to escape with our four children. And at night when the fire occurred, we moved exactly the way that we had um, been talking about. And the, the Lord gave the dream and, and praise God. And, and after that, our neighbors and people we didn't know existed gave us a whole room full of clothes and things for our house. And, and the, the, uh, there was a, an empty house across the street that we could use temporarily. Everything uh, was, it was just beautiful. beautiful. Was moved. Yes. Thank you very, very much, Jane. Uh, anybody else, can you show us a picture and tell us we're going to Kana or Kana, Kana. Sorry if I don't say your name right. 
Now, Kana, you have to uh, eliminate your background because we can't see your picture when you have a background. So if you can eliminate your background, we can see your picture. Okay, let's see if we can highlight that. Let's see what the picture is. Okay. Oh, someone's crying. Tell us just in a couple sentences about how did people show you that they cared for you? Oh, I can't hear your voice. You must be on mute. Yeah, we can't hear you. Oh, I think she's saying that she's translating uh, Pastor Don, and so she can't. Oh. We can't. Okay. Yes. Yes. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you so much. We understand. It looks like you have friends that were helping you when you were when you were sad. Okay. Very very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Let's work together, my friends, and help me see someone else for the picture ready to show. Anybody else for the picture of a time that you were cared for by others? That is Stuart. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it was a, I'll show it again. It's a picture of me uh, standing at the top of a a cliff, and I just sort of was trying to find a, a time when I felt really, really cared for. And it was when I actually met my first wife, and I think I said to her, I don't think anyone would care if, even if I jumped off this cliff. And she simply said, well, I care. And, and that was a s- sealing deal. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Bravo. Amen. Bravo. We'll take a few more. Anybody else with a picture and a story of yeah. being cared for? We have uh, Jovi. Jovi. From yeah, Australia. My son Julian. My son Julian would like to show. His... Okay. Okay, Julian. Let's see what you have here. Hold it up again. Let's see it one more moment. Mm. Okay. Tell us about that. Tell us about the time you were being cared for by somebody. Uh, so I was like sad, and then my parents today um helped me and encouraged me. Wonderful, wonderful. I am so glad you have parents that love you and care about you. That's awesome. Thank you. Anybody Amen. else? I'll take, is there any other children or teenagers here that want us to show want to show us a picture of when they were cared about? Anybody else? Okay. Yes. Thank you all for sharing. Oh, here's one more picture. It's uh it's Philomena? Philomena. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I have what looks like a bed here and my husband. So 2015. Hold it up. Oh, Hold it up. I'm sorry. A moment. Yeah. A little higher. Um, a little higher. We have to see it just real quick and then we can see you afterwards. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about it. Please. All right. Yeah, 2015 and 2016 were very rough years for me and my family. My husband was diagnosed of cancer and he was just given a short time to leave. Mm. And and uh, also he had had an accident and he had back issue. So uh, to top it up with the cancer, he could not walk. He was just crawling. Mm. Mm. It was rough. But the church never left us. They came here for prayer meetings they came every day. <clears throat> and... um there was anointing, and after that fervent, endless prayer, the Lord performed a miracle. We went back for tests, and they said they did not see nothing. And from 2016 to now, my husband is still living, and he's Amen. here. Amen. And it's, uh, it's just amazing. The Lord, the church was there for us. Amen. Amen. Sister, <clears throat> thank you so much for sharing. What what uh, part of the world are you from? Oh, I'm in Minnesota. I'm originally from West Africa, Sierra Leone. Okay, very, very good. Thank you so much for sharing. Praise God. Now, my friends, the stories that we just heard remind us of a special, special time in the book of Acts when the family of God was actually learning how to care for each other like just like Jesus cares for us. It was a powerful time. And the stories that we just told right now in our modern times were also showing us that 
that still spirit of Christ is moving among us now, calling us to love each other, care for each other, right? Right now in these end times. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 2. The book of Acts, chapter 2. And uh, I invite you to read with me verses 41 through 47. And let's look and see what we can learn about how they cared for each other. I want one volunteer to read one verse at a time. So one volunteer read one verse, another volunteer read the next verse, starting with chapter 2 of Acts 41. Verse 41 of New King James Version. These, those who gladly received his word, were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. Yes, amen. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Mm -hmm. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord add to the church daily such as should be saved. Amen. 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 Thank you, everybody, for volunteering so beautifully. Now, my friends, I invite you to do a very important thing. For the next about minutes, I invite us to have private prayer with the word of God in front of you. So I invite you to, to read that passage silently for just one minute. But as you're reading it, ask God. Ask God. Say, God, show me by the power of your Holy Spirit. Show me how the early believers cared for each other. Okay? Just for about a minute or a minute and a half. And then I will ask you for your answers to that question on chat. Are we together? Let's do that for the next minute or minute and a half. I'll call you together in a minute and a half. I'm going to give you just about 20 more seconds. So let's still be asking God, teach us how the early believers cared for each other. Just a few more seconds. And stop. <coughs> Pardon me. So let's go to chat right now. And I'm asking you to share on chat, how did the early believers care for each other? Okay. I'm going, let's see what you say here. What did you discover in those passages? They shared what they had. Yes, Nita. They had all things in common. They ate together. 
They sold their goods and shared. They broke bread together. Yes, anything else that you see there. They shared meals, shared fellowship in the home. They continued daily with one accord in the temple. They worshiped. They praised God. They went house to house, breaking bread. They prayed together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. They prayed daily. They encourage each other in the way of the Lord. Yes. Good. Now, I'm coming back to you now, away from chat. My friends, this is a picture, almost like a painting. Of, if you can imagine that these words in scripture is painting a picture of what the early church was like. Do you wish you could have seen that with your own eyes? Do you wish you could have been there in the homes of those early believers? Yes. As day by day, they were going and visiting each other, caring for each other, eating together. Mm -hmm. All these things. They worshiped together. They ate together. They prayed together. Much they prayed together. They also studied the word together. There was much caring for each other. And something very special happened. As the the church began to grow in number, there was a growing need because people were persecuted for their faith. Some people lost their houses. Some people lost their jobs. Some people lost their lands. Some people, of course, lost their lives and their families were not being cared for. Do you hear what I'm saying? It was a time of great need in the early church. And the early church in that desperate time started responding, not just pointing a finger to wealthy people and saying, you should give. No, the whole church, whether they were just had a little bit of wealth or a lot of wealth or almost no wealth, they gave sacrificially to care for each other and love each other. I love this picture of the early church. My friends, we as remnant people are nearing the time when we're going to go through much more difficult times than today. And if we are going to begin living by the Spirit of God, we need to have the heart of Jesus for each other. We need to see what Jesus sees. Uh, in our own family, yes, but also in our church family, also in our community, with our neighborhood, with our fellow believers and non-believers. We need to see people like Jesus sees people. Now, remember Jesus always and forever is our example. And can you think of a time when Jesus was teaching and preaching the word and he showed by what happened? that he cared about the people themselves, not just what he was saying out of his mouth to the people. He cared about the needs of the people. Can you think of a time like that? Yes, he fed fed them. Which which story are we thinking about? The feeding of the 5,000. Yes, yes, amen. Let's go right now in the word of God to Matthew chapter 14. And let's read that story again. And let's let's especially focus on how Jesus cares for people. So it's in Matthew 14. We'll be reading verses 13 through 21. 13 through 21. And uh, if we could have one volunteer per text. Let's have people that have not read scripture yet in this session. Okay, people that have not read scripture yet out loud in this session. 18. When Jesus heard of it, he departed this by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had there, when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. 14. And? 14, and when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. 15, when it was evening, his disciple came to him, saying, This is a, a deserted place, and the hour is already late. 
send the multitude away that they may go into the village and buy themselves food. 16. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. 17. 17. And they say yeah. unto him, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. 18. He said, bring them either to me. Hmm. 19. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. Hmm. 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 So they all ate and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments that remained. Now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men, besides women, women and children. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now my friends, my friends, Amen. the word of God is to show us who the real Jesus Christ is. Mm -hmm. Every time you read something in the word of God is to paint a real picture, like on a canvas, paint a picture of who Jesus Christ really is. So I invite you right now, take another minute and a half and prayerfully read through that short story and ask the question to God while you're reading. Say, God, what do you want to, to reveal to me about the, the way that Jesus cares for people? Let's do that right now for the next minute and a half, silently reading and silently praying and asking that question to God. And then we'll compare notes. Okay, the time is up. I'm going to chat right now. Please share what did you learn from this story about how Jesus cares for people? Okay, just give short answers and I'll read them as I'm able. Go to chat, please. He's compassionate. He healed the sick. What matters to us matters to him. He cared for them with compassion. Amen to that. Anything else that, that touched your heart in the story? He didn't tell them to go away. He still provided manna from heaven. Amen. Anything else? He gave them simple food, just simple food. Yes. He blessed whatever was available. He fed them. He cares for their physical needs. And he draws them. He has the power of love. His love is unconditional. He's moved with compassion. Yes, I'm leaving now. Chat right now. My friends, my friends, isn't it precious that Jesus 
was, he loved the people so much. He didn't just love what he was speaking to the people. He loved the people that were listening. He cared about them. And when the disciples said, oh, send them away. Like we don't have enough. Jesus said the opposite. Bring them, bring them to me. And when the little boy, now in this passage, it doesn't talk so much about the little boy, but another another gospel story of the same story says that there there was a, a boy that had the five loaves of two fish. Jesus also cared about him because he didn't say to the little boy, ah, no, 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 little child, what you have to give is, is not good enough. No, he didn't say that. He said, bring what that, what that little boy has to offer. And, and I will care for the people with what this little boy has in his lunch. And the little boy was actually practicing caring like Jesus by giving up his lunch. And Jesus was using what the little boy gave to feed the 5,000, which is probably more like 10 or 15,000 if you count all the women and the children, right? Amen? So my friends, Ah, sometimes we in this last day remnant church, sometimes we only care about declaring the message about Jesus, that he's coming again and people come. And then when we start sensing their needs, we say, go away, go away. You need to take care of your needs yourself. But if we're truly have a desire in our hearts to return to the book of Acts, And to see the spirit of God fall like the rain on his people again. If we hunger to live by the spirit of God, then we will start caring for each other like they did in the book of Acts. Let me give just a couple quick examples that have touched me from around the world in my travels. So many times God's people have shown me the kindness of Jesus in my travels. One one time, one of my first times when I landed in Africa, I believe it was South Africa. It's been a few years ago now. But I landed in South Africa. I didn't know anybody. And I was supposed to speak um, on that Sabbath to about, I think, 3,000 people. And I'm the only one that looks like me. I don't know anybody. I take out my clothes in time for, you know, on Friday, and I'm, I'm, no, pardon me, Thursday night, Thursday night, I take out my clothes out of my suitcase, and they're all like this. They're all messed up because they went through, you know, thousands of miles of travel. And I look at my suit, and I hold my suit up, and it's all like this wrinkled, my everything, my shirt is all wrinkled. And I thought, oh, no, this is not good. How can I, I don't want to wear this for church when I preach. The word of God, it'll be disrespectful to my African brothers and sisters. It'll be disrespectful to God. I can't do this. So I went downstairs and and I was staying in a little uh, Seventh-day Adventist, uh, like a guest house kind of situation. And But it was like a guest house slash hotel. It wasn't just a small one. It was a large one. And I asked a young lady at the, the desk, I said, can I have an iron? And so I can iron my clothes. She said, there's not an iron to lend you. We don't, we don't uh, have that available in the rooms. I said, oh, I said, I don't know what to do. I said, uh, my, my Sabbath is coming up, you know, right, uh, coming up really fast. I said, what can I do? And she said, well, she said, I think that there's someone on staff that, that will do this for you, that you can hire and will do this for you. I said, okay, good, no problem. So <clears throat> Thursday night, I I brought my clothes down and I, I brought a stack. I brought shirts and I brought everything for all my speaking for the next five or six days. It was a, it was a stack of things. And I took them to the young lady <clears throat> and she said, I'll be happy to give it to the staff. They'll take care of this for you. And tomorrow, Friday, the preparation day, you'll have it all ready for the Sabbath day. Oh, wonderful. Well, I came the next morning and it wasn't done. And I thought, uh oh. And that young lady, I did not see her because it wasn't her shift. It was now Friday afternoon and I still couldn't find my clothes. And finally, uh, a couple hours before the Sabbath, 
um, the the young lady was there at the desk. And I said, oh, I'm so glad to see you. I said, "Uh, do you know if the staff had time to, to prepare my clothes for my speaking? Oh, I'm so sorry to say uh, that they did not have time. They had too much to do. I said, oh, no. I said, I have a problem. She smiled. She said, excuse me one moment. I'll be right back. She came back. And this precious, precious, dear sister of mine in the family of God, she comes back with all my clothes neatly pressed. And I said, I thought you said that they didn't have time. She said, they didn't have time. No one on the staff had time. After I finished my shift, I ironed all of these for you. And I said, oh, wow. I said, praise God. I said, how much do I owe you? And I got out my billfold and I was I was trying to find some bills to give her. And she held up her hand and she said, you are my brother and I am your sister. And this is my gift to you as my brother. And I was so moved in my heart with the kindness of Jesus through her. The next day, I preached to uh, several thousand, two or three thousand believers. I was the only one in the place that looked like me. But you know what? It was communion day. And I washed my brother's feet. They washed my feet. We hugged each other. We ate together. We fellowshiped together. And I, I said, praise God. Praise God for the kindness of God's people. My friends, we need the heart of Jesus for each other so that we can treat each other with the kindness and the grace of God. I'll never forget that that young sister of mine in Africa who taught me the kindness and the gentle spirit of Christ. Do you, are you under conviction, my friends? Are you under conviction that we need to say, God, give me the heart of Jesus for someone who's in a desperate situation? Mine was not like I was about to die or something, but I had my own little emergency. All kinds of people come to church every Sabbath with a little and big emergencies. Am I right? Am I right? We also have people in our neighborhood with little and big emergencies. We have an opportunity right now to go out to our breakout rooms. And, and if the host can help me with this, please take, let's take, uh, let's take seven minutes and let's pray earnestly for the heart of Jesus to care for people in need right now. Let's do that. And then we'll come back to close. Hello. Good evening. Venable. Tobi to no tame ni kokoro kara watashi tsu ga dekiru koto ga nai ka seirei ni michibi te itadaki o inori shimasho. Watashi kara hajime mas. Ten no tsuchi naru kami sama kyou kou shite minna de tomo ni atsumari anata no tame ni watashi tsu ga dekiru koto o shimeshite itadaki Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time that we are having together. Help us to have your spirit in our hearts to see the needs of others and to have the heart of Jesus as we care for others so that they may feel loved and feel your love and your light in their heart. Oui, Seigneur, donne-nous un cœur semblable à Jésus, que nous soyons appelés frères et sœurs de Jésus avec le même caractère que lui. Amen. 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 Dear Father in heaven, please give me the heart of Jesus 
for those in need all around me.天皇様、本当に私たちの周りにはたくさんの必要を持っていらっしゃる方々がおられます。どうぞ神様が示してくださって、その方々一人一人に必要な助けを、え、することができますように天からの道からをお与えください。イエス様のような優しい心を持って接
We don't know anything about them, and we need to visit. Okay. 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 We have about 10 seconds. We are so thankful, Lord. Thank you so much for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for your translating. Thank you. Oh, of course. Thank you. God bless. <laughs>